Hello, thank you for speaking to me today. Yes. Do you want to shake hands? Sure. Okay, good. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Lola Odom. Oh, cool, mine too. <laughs> it's not. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> My name is Sienna Fons. Hi, I'm Ryan, uh, Ryan County. Mary Eloise Ross. And so Mary, you've seen this, can I call you Mary? Or no. Everyone calls you Mary Eloise? Yes. Oh, okay. Which character is your favorite character in this film? I like Rainbow Dash because I just think that she is, helps her friends and is so a good you, pony. you help your friends and are a good pony? Yes. Oh, good. I would have to say Tempest. <laughs> Which one was that? Is that? It was. Oh, that. Oh, the bad one. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> she was bad. Yeah, but because she, yes, she was bad. But the only thing that made her bad is that people teased her about her horn, and that made her really sad. If you can believe it, I was bullied as a kid. Um... I can. I really like Twilight. Princess Twilight? Yeah, Princess Twilight. because okay, she's a princess. <laughs> princess Twilight Sparkle. Easy. That's the one you like the most? Oh, yeah. Princess of Friendship. So, friendship is my number one passion. And, uh, I mean, that's literally a manifestation of my passion is Princess Twilight Sparkle. Why do some have horns and some don't? Well, some of them are queens and like princesses, so they have magic powers. Oh, so not only are they a queen, but then they have powers? Yeah, like Twilight, she can move things, she can protect people, and the, if like they face stuff, sometimes Twilight in their adventures, she'll use her horn. So is she a pony or a unicorn? Um, I guess, she, Pony unicorn. A ponicorn. Yeah, ponicorn. Yeah. <laughs> so the alicorn would be uh, Princess Twilight Sparkle, and that's a unicorn. It's a Pegasus with a unicorn horn. So you know Pegasus have the wings. So if they have a wing and a horn, um, they're alicorns. If they just have the wings, they're Pegasus, and if they don't have any of them, they're just lame ponies. Why are all there? They're all talking. How's that? They're magical. They're ponies. They can talk. Explain this movie to me. Well. All right. So opening shot, uh, we're flying in. It's a couple ponies, eh, no named, just kind of extra, extra ponies, flying in, and you see the town is Equestrius is getting ready for a festival. The Snow King Lord thing. Mm -hmm. um, came to Equestria. The snowman comes. <laughs> Are you a snowman? No. The... Have you seen this movie? <laughs> yes, I've okay. Seen this movie. Uh, I don't know. Lightning and storm smashing and a bridge breaks. Nobody gets hurt, I don't think. And everyone's screaming. All these ponies, every pony's straight screaming. And uh, you're thinking, oh, Storm King, he's already gonna make an appearance. This is the first act, and he's already making an appearance? Nope. Out comes a pony with a broken horn, okay? Sparks flying out of it, and you're like, this is a bad guy. And they go on all these adventures. She kind of nods to uh, Pinkie Pie. She's kind of like one of these, and she goes, why don't you go uh, make friends with these? Uh... She didn't really wink, though, because Pinkie went... Pie didn't know she was an accomplice. She she went a little... No, because Pinkie Pie went off on her own. It was kind of like a metaphor wink. It was like a metaphor wink. No, Pinkie Pie, all Pinkie Pie wanted to do was create, a, have a new friend. Yeah, par and party. That's what she does. Right, so, but yeah. meanwhile, Princess Twilight Sparkle... Is over there. No, she, she, never, she never did she that. She didn't actually do it in the, in the no, movie. No, because then she was like, what happens is they go off to that room, or wherever that they place... I think they did a song. Yeah, that song then they find a beautiful song, by the way. But they find Princess Twilight mm -hmm. Sparkle stealing the magic steal orb. The orb, yeah. And yeah. it's like... But then Pinky was mad. That's how you know Pinky was, Pinkie Pie was not in on it. Yeah. Yeah. No, none of them were in on it. It was just some skeezy thing that Princess Twilight did. And we're all like in the audience. I looked over at you. I saw you and you were just going. 
What are you doing? You could have got the orb with friendship. Who should watch this movie? Well, honestly, any age could watch this movie if like you're a big fan of My Little Pony. Any age. Yeah. Doesn't Late really, 20s? Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. I'd say probably 18 to 43, somewhere in the middle of that age group. I think it's for kids ages like three to 10. I'm like a little older than that. <laughs> Even my age, 29. Why are you shocked no, by that? No, I'm not shocked. Yeah, I'm turning 30 next year. It's hard on me. Cool. Um, Do I look that age to you? Yeah. <laughs> I feel that age sometimes, you know? <laughs> sometimes I feel higher. When I get out in the, up in the morning, it's hard sometimes. Mm -hmm. I go, oh, my back. <laughs> do you do that ever? No. Oh. On a scale of one to ten hooves, how many hooves would you give this? Ten. I would give this maybe ten hooves. Ten hooves. It was a fascinating film. It was interesting dialogue, but I'm going to have to say 7.5 hooves out of ten. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay. And also, uh -huh. from our interview, we made a friendship, so I wanted to give you a little friendship bracelet. Here's a friendship bracelet to become part of my friendship squad. I have a bracelet for you. I didn't bring a friendship bracelet. I kind of got mean girled. Those girls didn't tell me that we all were going to bring friendship bracelets. So, well, how about, how about this? You can be in our squad. I can be in your squad? Our friendship squad. Thanks, man.